and now we're going to get started. So today I made a little dinosaur craft. You can see I made some spikes that I put on my hoodie in uh, honor of the book that we're reading today, which is Dinosaurs After Dark by Jonathan Emmett and Curtis Jobling. And Joshua loaned me this book, and I was also thinking of Theodore, because I know he has a hoodie with spikes on it. And I think Declan is wearing uh, dinosaur pajamas tonight, which is so appropriate. Dinosaurs After Dark. Check out the end pages, isn't that cute? Dinosaur footprints. Dinosaurs After Dark. This is the story of Bobby, who was lonely in the night, and how when everyone else was sleeping, he heard the sound of something sneaking softly past his window, and how he crept across the floor and took a peep outside and saw a huge, enormous dinosaur. So Bobby grabbed his robe and he left his room and tiptoed down the stairs and through the hall, out of the house and into the city. The monster crept from street to street and Bobby followed after it, past unlit shops and office blocks and dark, deserted buildings. Talk to someone next to you about how you think Bobby's feeling in this picture. Look at his expression. Whisper it to someone near you. I think he's worried or surprised. Until they reached the city square and dinosaurs were everywhere. They look like they're having fun, don't you think? They look happy and silly. But when they saw Bobby, they roared and ran after him chanting, snatch him, munch him, catch him, crunch him, before he runs and tells on us. But Bobby promised not to tell and crossed it on his heart as well. And so instead of eating him, they let him join the fun, sliding down the rooftops above the city hall, climbing up the office blocks, and then jumping off them all. Hmm, do you think this is a rhyming book, friends? You decide. Splashing in the fountains and swinging from the cranes, racing through the station and playing with the trains. Underground and in the air, those dinosaurs played everywhere. There is a lot of excited marks in this book. Uh-oh. Now for one last game, they cried, of hide and seek and you can hide. Yes, you can hide and we will seek you, but if we find you, we might eat you. I hope you all ate dinner already. I don't want you to eat me, even though I look like a dinosaur. So Bobby ran and ran and ran until he found somewhere snug and safe and secret where no one would find him. And he curled up small and he held his breath and listened for the sound of the dinosaur's feet. But all he heard was his own heart thumping slower and slower until he fell. Oh, then someone did find him and picked him up and carried him through the night back to his bed where he sighed and smiled and slept. Until morning. Oh, what do you see in the street? Did it really happen? What do you think? That was Dinosaurs After Dark. I hope you enjoyed it, friends. Have a good night.